Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Space Engineers. So here we are, back on our ship, and last time we had built a mini platform, and we were going to get prepared soon to move most of our content over to the platform, which I think would probably be a great episode to do with that, because um, you probably don't want to start filling up your cargo containers and having the excess amount of stuff just to have to move it all. So yeah, well, I think we're, we're roughly about time to get ready. Maybe we can put a few more of these blocks in. Oh, see? There was a lot. So it looks like once the center block here-ish, probably once it gets to 50% or less that you can see, then you are not able to place the, the platform. Beautiful. Now let's go and tell Benner, you are more than welcome to join my Space Engineers game. So, there we go. Not bad, not bad. I wonder how much we can fit over here. Oh, not bad. Oh, wow, that one I was actually able to fit there. Maybe I'm all wrong about this. No, this corner can't fit. Okay. That looks like more than 50% though. <laughs> I'm not sure the exact on you know math for it, but beautiful. Commercial freight freighter just passing by. Oh, there you go. We're out of light blocks. Well, you know what? We are disassembling our ship today, so let's start getting working on that. Um, the first thing you're probably not going to want to do is your reactor chest. It's gravity under necessity function. Just blah, blah, blah. Uh, medical station, etc. be able to start some of those excess parts like the uh, like these puppies here. Thrusters. They're called thrusters. My goodness. I thought they were called people. Okay, so what we're gonna do is basically we're transferring, you know, object to object. So we have all the components in our inventory clearly. So what we're gonna do is rebuild them over here. So a small cargo container. Well we can just take the small cargo container, by the way, you probably wanna bury it some semi deep into your uh, you know, into your base because I don't think you would ever wanna lose one of these to an asteroid. I mean, this would probably install a lot of your components, and you you definitely want it in deep, which I think this would be considered pretty much deep. That's what she said. Perfect. What she said also, right? Okay, um, and then the next thing, I wonder if Benner answered. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to join us. Uh, the next thing we we're going to want to do is uh, disable. I just wanted to process the rest of the ingredient. I can try to do that, but it's like, eh, you know, we're almost done. I want to process the rest of it. Okay, let's do the terminal, actually. The terminal is a good one. I hit tab, by the way. If you ever lose your display and wondering what the hell you just did, that's the tab key. Oh, Benner Cash joined. Welcome. Just doing my LP series, but feel free. Oops. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Multiplayer. 
multiplayer. Now you can't say there's no multiplayer. Maybe we'll go on team speak in the next episode or two, but I, while we're new, I think it's important that. Uh, but you know what? Let's go on there now. Let's just not get hit by a mirror. Let's save the game. Hello. What's up, Benner? It's gonna be on YouTube. No. Well. So, of course, we're starting fresh because we did kind of kill the last save. Plus, yeah, it's fun starting. But you'll see things like commercial freighter. You can actually hijack that. I personally, I'm not going to steal them. What? I think that's just too cheap like to like salvage them and stuff. But if you ever want to, you can go and actually try to capture that ship and take it as your own. That'd be kind of cool. But it would be cool though if it was like shooting back on you. So it would be like more of a difficulty. Oh but my. Probably gonna you're really quiet. Hold on. Say that again. I wonder why you're so quiet to me always. I keep turning you up more and more. You're already plus five, but now I'm gonna have to change you up more. Okay, talk now. Hello. A little better. Oh no, the game crashed. Hello? Oh, banner. Did I do something? No. I was trying to fix your voice and stuff and the game crashed. I don't know, everybody with that microphone seems at a de decent like level, but you always seem quieter than everyone else. I have no idea why, I just turned the game to full, uh, like, fully. I can kind of hear you now, but it's probably all the sound effects in the game, but all my sound effects in the game are like turned completely almost down. Mm hmm, weird. Either way, I'm reloading the, the map. I had sure? just saved it too, so it's not a big deal. Oh. <laughs> you knew I Except was Except I'm recording. Uh oh. Whoa. So anyways, guys, this happens. It crashes, and that's normal. So, yeah, you just just got to live with it. Uh, save frequently, and yeah, not a big deal. Okay, it's up and running. Let's get rid of music. Turn down the audio just a bit more. That's probably better connecting, yeah. Yeah, when you connect the legs a bit, gotta tell them that. One of the multiplayer bugs they'll eventually hopefully fix. Yes, we I'm just slow just... downloading this time, like last time was actually quite quick, but now it's like oh, yeah. really slow. That's weird. I'm just disassembling my ship, but I just started on a ship and making a base inside an asteroid this time rather than the outside. <laughs> we won't tell him why. We'll let him experience that. Okay, so... Well, it's always easier to start from the inside than going outside, so when you actually have gravity, I can make a hole out. Yeah, exactly. Though you should try exploring outside a bit. It's kind of fun. There's oh, that cargo ship too. You, you see, uh, when you're in game, there's a commercial freighter. You can actually capture that. Now, I, what I was trying to say before is I find it cheap myself to go and steal them and salvage them for parts and stuff. But uh, well, you're more than welcome to do whatever you want with them. But they're just these random ships that fly by and then they'll eventually vanish. Well, but yeah, it would be cool like later on if they, if they actually did it, so it would be shooting at you, so it would actually be more of I a I think that's what they want to do, team. they want to put like AI turrets kind of on it, so like, you can like, target enemy factions, things like that. Yeah. That's once they have all that faction stuff implemented. So let's put our cockpit here. Well, that was the wrong button. I think Space Engineers just crashed. What? That's weird. It doesn't crash for me. Are you using 32-bit computer or something? Mm, no, 64. Oh, there we go. I think. I 
to load for a sec. Oh. Did you tab out or something accidentally? Nope. Oh, commercial freighter. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. So you could technically go and hijack that if you really wanted to. My, my Myself, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna, like, destroy them and stuff. When I see them, oh, I'm, gonna, get, I'm gonna build a ship and get, like, guns and turrets on it. And, like, go and shoot them down. I guess you were at the big asteroid there. Um, um well, you can't see my name. Oh, do I have a beacon? No. Nope. I'm at... Well, you can't really see me. I'm inside an asteroid right now. Well, I'll just take a chance. Yeah. Hope for the best. If you see me, I'll just shoot you. That's, that's simple, right? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? You just spend all your time building up ammo and guns and you shoot each other and you never actually progress? <laughs> so my last Let's Play series of this was popular. The first video has like 10,000 views, so I thought, ah, maybe we should continue wow. a, a new series of playing this. We can call it like season two, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> But it was pretty popular, so I thought it was kind of important to continue. Now I gotta get oh, more. The... Did you just fire rockets? No. By the way, there's asteroids in the game. Oh. Did you get hit? No, but I just saw like 10 projectiles just flying through the air. Yeah, like, those what? are called asteroids. Yeah, I just saw one skin my face. Yeah, just take a look outside. It's insane out here. Holy. It's not that bad. It's like Armageddon. <laughs> oh, I see you going to an asteroid. I'm not at that asteroid. I saw your name blink for a second. So at least you picked a good one. Not yeah, cool. Yeah, it's uh, Armageddon. Uh, apparently, if you have the heavy armor, it's not too bad, but with the lighter armors, it might be more challenging. I'm not sure. You'll have to see how much it impacts you when you get hit, but... <laughs> we'll just leave him to experience it. Okay. Oh, we're really getting impaled out here today. Okay, we need to find that, uh, actually we just got it actually, yeah, so we can finish off that terminal. So when I blew up the terminal accidentally, uh, thankfully I didn't put any resources or weld into it yet, so we only lost Oh crap, the I don't remember how to turn everything off. <laughs> uh, oh, the Z key? The inertia? Oh no, I was like thinking everything. I don't turn anything off, to be honest, uh, on my ship because... It doesn't waste any power, to be honest. Like, everyone was turning off their thrusters, but what happens if your ship got hit with an asteroid when you're, it, like, parked and turn off all your uh, thrusters? It might end up floating away on you, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I keep my thrusters on, because they don't actually use any power, really. If they do, it's, like, the most minute. Like, when I parked my ship into my uh, asteroid, I think I had something like two days worth of energy if I wasn't moving it. So, and that's with the oh, basic wow. fuel. And of course, it's easier now than when we first played to refuel your ship and process it. Like, I have, let's see how much I have. I have like almost 10. Um, yeah, I guess I would have about 10. Let's see here 9.31 uh, kilograms of uranium ingots. Uh, like actually in my reactor, and I've only been playing yeah. for like 40 minutes. Yeah. But then again, I think it's more rare. Like, I have this asteroid, and there's only, yeah. Not, well, not, I don't think it's rare, but I mean, maybe I'm just lucky. I mean, basically, if you want to find uranium, you just go and fly to the closest uh, asteroid. Maybe fly, um,. Watching these asteroids impale the side of, or these meteors impale the side of an asteroid is so cool looking. But maybe just fly to an asteroid if you don't have a big open in yours. Fly to another one and look for an opening in it. And then literally just, um, yeah. Okay, well, I just found some. But yeah, because like the first one I flew into, 
Benner has so much of it. Like, you're more than welcome to take some from here if you want, but... Do you see me where I, uh, I saw you a minute ago. See me? Look for me on the, uh, screen. Yeah, I see you there. Okay, well, Smaller one. yeah, if you come here and go inside, you'll find tons of uranium. Well, I just found some here, it's just on the other side, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's it not... has my inertials on it. <laughs> yeah, it's not usually too, too bad. It's, 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 like, after we've played quite a bit, it's easy to remember pretty much just everything usually is in the caves you almost get like five or six types of ores right in the center of it well none oh crap what what happened oh it's just the asteroids smashing into my asteroid <laughs> into your what oh your yeah they're meteors i think they're really cool yeah, i meteors. keep calling them asteroids too but you're 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 living in an asteroid getting hit by meteors <laughs> I so, just hear like. Sorry, guys, we're getting a little distracted. This is multiplayer. This is what happens. You guys wanted multiplayer. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, 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 uh. get back in here. Let's charge up here. And I think we're ready to move our reactor. Now, if we somehow died or got impaled while moving our reactor, oh my god, I would laugh so hard and cry at the same time because that that's pretty much our entire life right here. There we go. So we lost our gravity. So our ship now could technically float away if we impaled it with an asteroid. We should be fine. And take a look on your left. You don't want to hit your max volume, depending on your setting, because if you do, the parts will drop. And because there's no gravity anymore... Oh wow, this asteroid just... Oh, meteor just crashed into the asteroid where I was mining. I just hear like this giant ass explosion, and now there's like a tunnel inside it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! So yeah, you definitely want to build deep inside an asteroid. Then I'm building like in the back of it, covered quite deeply, and then even after that, I'm gonna be building like heavy duty steel walls and stuff to pre prevent you know any accidents. Yeah. Okay, I think we're safe here, guys. So let's go ahead and do... This is a small reactor, by the way. You want to see what the large reactor looks like? Just to give you an idea. This is what the large reactor looks like. Yeah, four times the size. Actually, eight times the size, I think. But yeah, we're just doing the small reactor. Yeah, I think yeah my eight. cave is quite small. It's not even like a big tunnel. It's just like... Well, you could always enlarge it really, by really mining small. it yourself, right? Are you in it, or is your ship in it? Were, were you able to fit your ship in it? I don't think it was hit my bind there. Nope, I can't get it. It's not big enough. It's like... Uh, yo, <laughs> I can barely get my man in there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you might want to look for another asteroid, because you might... I mean, you see how frequent they are. I wonder if they come from one direction or not. If they do, you might want to consider living on the other side of the uh, asteroid. Yeah. You have to keep an eye if they come in one direction or if they come from all directions. If it's just oh, wow. It is definitely easier getting uranium. Holy. Yeah. Well, don't forget a lot of those bugs that you had before are fixed too, right? Yeah, exactly. There was a bug before where, like, multiplayer players were getting, like, nothing in items. There we go, our reactor's up and running. Yeah, I got the uranium sign again. So now we should be able <laughs> to Nuclear sign, up. or what the hell is this? The yeah. three, three angles and the uh, sword. 100% energy. Nice. Nice. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take apart some of our most necessities. Uh, we're gonna wanna get our medical bay. Uh, I think the assembler and refinery, to be honest, are a little more important right now, so we'll get them, but yeah. I don't think there was anything left in there, but can't open the interface now. We could rebuild it if we really wanted to, but meh, I'm too lazy for that. Now, this has a lot of steel plate, and I think the max it can hold like a thousand, or maybe a thousand a bit. So we're definitely going to have to build part of this and come back and fully uh, get the rest of it. But we might as well see how far we can get. And... 
Yeah, we're at the 4K limit now, so. So if you kept going, it would basically be like one click and most of that stuff would go in your inventory, which is kind of cute, but probably don't want to overdo it either, so. Um, let's see how we want to do this. We could, actually. They are coming quite frequently, though. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're quite crazy. That's, uh, I guess, a fun and also dangerous part of this game mode. Gives us a little more adventure, right? Make it more fun. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm sitting here dead scared because I can hear like... It's not like, even, it's not even like the hardest like, setting. There's like an unrealistic mode, they call it. Unrealistic, go figure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's even crazier apparently. So what we're doing is we're going to actually enlarge in this just a bit so we can fit some of this in here. Apparently this does not want to fit in here though. Yeah, what are we playing on here? I don't know the setting, but it's not like the hardest one. That's cool. But you can make we uh, you can make weapons and shoot the asteroids if you have a one of the meteors if you got a problem. With them. <laughs> I don't think so. Interesting. I'm not sure why I can't. Huh. Oh, okay, I definitely got hit. Holy fuck! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> My ship is totally destroyed! <laughs> like, so bad that you'll have to start over again? Mm, let's see here... It hit the cockpit, so I can't... <laughs> well, that sounds fun, to be honest. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a secret. I started on a platform, and I'm like, man, I wonder how often these asteroids are. I thought it was going to be like once a day kind of thing, or really slow and, you know. And all of a sudden, one comes down and like almost totals half the platform. And then I'm like, well, as long as my refinery doesn't get hit and the assembler are fine for now. And then all of a sudden, both of them get hit. And I was like, yep, yeah, time to start fresh. Oh, it could be because those are in the way. Yeah, I just see my jab gravity generator just floating out here. Like, what the frick just happened? And it's like a giant hole in my ship. <laughs> okay, well, it lost like, like four engines and the cockpit and yeah, where the hell that go? You should try building a refinery inside of a tiny asteroid. Yeah. Okay, there's the refinery. Where? I think I'm gonna make some steel plates and move everything inside as quick as possible. I'll just take my everything apart and build it again. Yeah, that's probably the best way. And that's basically what I did was I found an asteroid. <laughs> Uh, so I, I basically committed suicide once the platform was destroyed to hell. And uh, anyway, so I started fresh, and uh, I took my ship. I basically found an asteroid with big enough uh, entrance to place my ship, and I put it inside, and I basically smashed it inside the wall. So it was like as much as the entrance or exit of the asteroid was not, you know, it was harder to see it. And then basically. I started to mine uranium, of course, your basic, and then I got some iron, and then I placed some uh, a station platform in one of the little, uh, like, you know, in an area where I could not see anything outside, and then I started mm -hmm. to build my space there. Now I'm just, like, moving my refinery and everything. I'm still scared that I'll get, like, one shot by accident. Oh. Look how big that refinery is. Holy crap. Now we can do the assembler at the same time. Let's go grab it. The amount I hear him going against the asteroid, I don't know how we even survived like the first 10 seconds in this game. 
I was literally so scared that, like, flying my ship, I thought, that's it. I'm gonna just get impaled in midair, like, right now. There we go. Let's finish building this. Now our firing might be slightly exposed, unfortunately. Actually, it isn't, I don't think. No, I think it's hidden enough. But we're gonna probably like eventually we'll wall this in anyways, because we're gonna want to protect ourselves, but I just got hit again. Holy What did you lose this time? Nothing, but I just oh whoa. Like nothing and then everything. <laughs> kind of sad I can get my thing inside. If you know what I mean? <laughs> is this is this one of the problems you have in life with women? <laughs> <laughs> So now we're gonna try to install the assembler, which we're gonna want to... military mine layer. I don't think it actually layer like lays down mines, because <laughs> I mean that's not even oh come on that's not like a, a thing in the game quite yet, anyways. If you get what I mean, but okay, I so could we... take it over and. You could if you want. I'm not gonna question that. I mean, I'm not gonna do that myself, but right. oh, I like the last. More. I don't have a ship anymore. Yeah. Well, you do whatever you want. I personally, I might like go and like capture them and like ram them into an asteroid or maybe steal stuff in their cargo containers. But I've decided I'm not gonna salvage any of those ships. Yeah. That's understandable though. I'm also gonna role play in a sense like I'm not gonna fly with my person there. I'm gonna like take a ship there, slow it down, maybe enter it. I actually might can let it keep going because I think they unload after a while. So because the other ships you don't see them, so they do get deleted after a while. Yeah. Okay. Most of my stuff's now moved over, just doing my assembler and then my medical bay, and then everything is well, at least important is done. Until there's like these rare, uh, you know, meteors that are actually the size of an asteroid that come flying in and like <laughs> somehow knock my entire. Everything. Where, like, all of a sudden there's gravity on the asteroids themselves, and it, like, just knocks the asteroid out. Get, like, chucked into a black hole. I wonder how fast this thing is flying. I don't know, they seem to fly at a pretty... Quite fast, yeah. yeah. They're like, they stole my idea. I was like, I'm gonna start like taking tons and tons of iron or stone and then dropping it on the ground and then taking a ship and like grabbing it and like point it towards your station and throw it towards it. And now here I don't even have to do that anymore. <laughs> So the medical room, ooh, definitely want to get rid of all these parts, or grab all these parts. They're pretty expensive parts. Oh, look at that, we're already out of uh, inventory space. So we'll just get it down here, so that way when we come back it's mostly done. But then again, that's it about it. It does definitely have something that looks like mines, holy. Well, maybe it is, I don't know. Just go in there, find the cockpit, and slow it down, or... But the inertia dampeners are basically off. That's what's that's like the, what the problem with them. So just go in there and turn off the inertia dampener, or turn them on, and then slow down the ship. Or maybe it'll delete you if you keep going or something. I'm not sure. Okay, what were we building here? Oh yeah, medical room. 
Oh, wow, they made up heavy steel, but uh, heavy armor box. Fits, I'm happy. So she said. I forgot how heavy the interior steel plate stuff is. Oh, we're almost done this episode. We'll finish building this and then we'll uh, send this puppy. There you go. I can't even find a door. It might be hidden or something. Maybe that's why you need to make a ship and like, take a rocket and fire it into it and build yourself a hole. There you go. Let's save it. Want to save progress? Yes, I would like to, please. Just in case if something like better happens again. <laughs> there you go. And that's it. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. And we will see you next time.